This video will explain what to do with works by more than one author in APA style 6th edition, both in the text of your paper and in your reference list. For more information about referencing sources using APA, check out our video, Referencing Sources in APA Style, a basic introduction. Let's start with what to do in the text of your paper. In the text, you don't need to include author's initials. When a source has two authors, cite both last names every time you reference it in your text. In a sentence, spell out the word AND. In parentheses, use the symbol for AND. Next, let's look at what to do in the text when you have three, four, or five authors. The first time you cite sources with three to five authors, you include all the last names, just like how we cited two authors. After that, when you cite the same source again, you can use the abbreviation et al, which is Latin for and others. The big difference is when you have six or more authors. When you have six or more authors, you can use et al every time you cite the source in your text. How do you cite a source with multiple authors in your reference list at the end of your paper? For sources with up to and including seven authors, always include the last names and initials of all authors in your reference list. Each author's last name is entered first, followed by their initials. Authors' names are separated by commas. The symbol for AND should be used. But if you have eight or more authors, you only write out the names of the first six authors. Then, insert an ellipsis after the name of the sixth author. An ellipsis is three dots. Then list the last author. Do not use et al. For more information on APA style, check out some of our other videos, or visit the Munn Library's webpage where you can see our full APA guide and chat live with library staff.